It would appear I have found my true calling. No more coaching, slalom stack videos, three times a week, I reckon. Everybody in that video is getting a free shirt. I've got them packaged up, ready to go. We're sending them to France, a few to the US, some to Canada, a few in Australia. Even one's going to a place called Tasmania. Some of you may have heard of that. Thank you to everybody who sent your videos in. Keep them coming. I want Dropbox links to your best stacks in the comments on YouTube. That makes it super easy for me and I will collect them all. And if you're crashing hard enough, you'll get a free shirt. I know I initiated a global manhunt for the man in that video who took the monster out the front. And thank you to the water ski community. We have tracked down Jim from Colorado. Now in a slightly concerning turn of events, Jim from Colorado, don't know if I'm meant to be making this bloke as famous as he's about to become, but I kid you not, Jim was in hospital on the day I released that video from a slalom crash, which he informs me was much worse than the one in this video. So that is um concerning to say the least. And Jim's lovely wife actually filmed Jim watching himself become famous on the internet for the first time. And um, it's concerning because Jim got home from the hospital that day and he's wearing a neck brace as he watches himself become famous for a previous slalom crash. I think it goes without saying that we're going to have to sort of make Jim a little bit of a safer skier. I feel like Jim, mate, you've earned yourself far more than a free shirt here. When you get back skiing, send me some videos. Let's sort out how to get you across these wakes a little safer. Hopefully some of you have noticed from my coaching that on 18 and 22 off, I'm a big fan of having skiers cut through both wakes. Some people teach that you should come off the load at the center line, but for 18 and um, 16, which is 22 off and 15 off, I'm a big believer that you should just stay on the line, keep cutting until you're through both wakes and clear of that trough. It's the safest way to do it. It'll make your turns a little bit rushed, but that's a very small price to pay and it will get you running a wider arc. I don't believe on these longer lines we should be telling skiers to stop cutting at the center line because the wakes are too big and people are going to go out the front and trip. Anyway, so with Jim, when he gets back skiing, we're going to teach him to ski the way that I believe long ropes should be skied and we're going to make him safe. And unfortunately for the internet, but fortunately for Jim, hopefully we will not see any more horrific slalom stacks from Jim. But for everybody else, don't worry about that. Keep taking good stacks and send me your videos.